You're listening to Short Inspirations from Ralph. Overcoming the Odds, Part 3. And so, as we have seen, the very first thing that we do in overcoming things that are overwhelming us is to give our whole life, our heart, our everything about us, give it to the Father. Ask Jesus to come into your heart. Receive the coat, the multicolored coat of salvation, because the Bible says that salvation belongs to our God and to the Lamb. The second coat in Joseph's life was the coat of Christian character. What do we mean by that? Well, Joseph was sold into slavery, as we said, but he rose up the ranks. He became the head servant in a house that was owned by a man called Potiphar, who was a chief prison guard, the captain, an executioner, apparently, for Pharaoh. And this man had a beautiful young wife, lonely and bored and possibly spoiled. On the other hand, we had Joseph, who was handsome, rugged. He had great character. The Bible says five times that God was with Joseph. He had the power of God's presence and he had character. And she set her eyes on him. She was attracted to him and she went after him to seduce him repeatedly over and over, the Bible says. And Joseph refused each time. Finally, one day when the house was empty and she made sure it was, The stage was set. She moved in for the kill. She said to him directly, sleep with me. He refused. He ran from her. This sullen, disillusioned, rejected woman screamed rape. And as he left, get this, she grabbed his coat and held it as evidence that he'd been there. Potiphar came home and didn't hear the other side of the story, and instantly condemned Joseph to prison for apparently 13 years. But get this, the coat of Christian character is something that you and I put on. Because we love the Lord, because we've received his great salvation, and it is great, we don't want to do anything that would pull down the name of this great God who saved us. And Joseph said this to this woman, How can I sin against God? It wasn't against her. It wasn't against anyone else, really. It was against God. And we know that that is the greatest thing that you can do when temptation comes your way, is to say, how can I do this thing? How can I sin against God? And so Joseph was in prison for 13 years. And he would have suffered and his name was slandered and made mud and broken and hurt and wrongly accused. But I want to say this, every believer has two coats. The first coat is the coat of salvation. God's responsible for that. The second coat is the coat of Christian character. You and I are responsible for that coat. There are two sides to the proposition of Christian living, of following Jesus. There is your position in Christ. It's what Jesus did for you on the cross, paying the price of our sin. Then there's your condition in Christ. That's how you respond and what you do and you let your light shine before men. It's your actions. There's imputed righteousness. He fills your life up with his grace. But then there's practical righteousness. And that's when you practice your faith by the lifestyle that you live. You let your light shine. You don't compromise because you know that God's presence is with you. And you want to do nothing to sin against him, just like Joseph. And so the world is looking at two coats in a, in a Christian. The first one is the supernatural salvation coat of many colors. It's something like, There's something different about that person. I can't quite put my finger on it. And actually, folks, it's the presence of God. And then there's a second coat. 
people can see that you may not be perfect, but you certainly are following Jesus with your actions and your character and your speech. What's that saying? I am different to make a difference. You see, integrity has to be so robust and intact in everything we do because Christ has made a difference in our lives. In the next episode, I want to have a look at this thing called temptation. God bless you.